give you kind of a brief history of the jail project. Because I can't get that from over here. Let's just kind of recap what's happened thus far. These are just the highlights. February 2011, the previous architect on the first phase of the project, RQAW, presented a project of 224 beds with an additional 65 work release beds uh, to uh, commissioners and county council at a ticket of 12.8 million to 14.9 million. I wasn't here at the time, but my understanding has been that uh, county council um, felt that that was um, too much money to spend uh, on the project and they were not comfortable with it. They asked then that that project be cut back and scaled back. At that point in June of 2011, RQAW then uh, took out the work release component of it and uh, skinning it down to 200 beds at a price of 9.8 to 14.9 on the high side. Again, uh, county council uh, felt that was too much money. Uh, they were not comfortable with that dollar figure and RQAW then came back with a modified design. It was a much reduced scaled back version of 120 beds and that price ticket was up to 9.3 million. Um, in November then of 2011, County Council voted to fund the jail project and there was an amendment to that, that motion that the architect be bid out in hopes of improving the county's uh, competitive pricing position. Then again, uh, February of this year, Council did appropriate $72,000 toward the project. I was a hire construction manager to do some soil work and review how their, their various finance options through one ball. How might they how might they pay for it? In May of 2012, um, I came on in March. That money had been appropriated. My job was to do what commissioners and council had asked. Therefore, we went out, we did the interview process, we hired a, a construction manager, we continued to evaluate the soil conditions, and we continued to work with Humboldt. Uh, at that point, uh, somewhere in there, we also gave an update to, we've been giving updates to the commissioners and the county council as well. In June then, um, July, I think actually is the, the right date, I put June, I think that should be July of 2012, after rigorous interviews with architects and with the assistance of the construction manager, the commissioners made a decision to hire Rosser International as the architect for the remainder of the project. Um, and that concluded the contract with RQAW. And then we started um, the process with Rosser. August of this year, council advanced $350,000 to the commissioners for this project to continue to pay for the services, the soil borings, uh, surveys, work that needed to be completed to keep, keep the project moving. The commissioners then recently approved the schematic design, which is required under the contract. Each phase of the project, project has to be approved by the commissioners before the architect gets paid, and that was just done here um, in November. So that's, that's where things stand. If you would go to the next slide, Brad. Um, I wanted to make sure that you understood uh, who the jail committee was, and I apologize if this is a repeat, but there may be people who have heard this information. Um, I pretty much chaired the committee. Um, Dennis Krause, president of county council, uh, is on that jail committee and has pretty much been to every meeting. The county council uh, is on that jail committee and has pretty much been to every meeting. Uh, county councilman Jim Hughes is on that committee. Commissioner Orschel represents the commissioners on that committee. Our uh, sheriff, Mike Krynick, is on the committee. His chief deputy, David Lusby, and his jail commander, David Hall. And the uh, county prosecutor's office was represented by Brian Messmore. And the JCAP program, the Jail Chemical Addiction Program, was represented by Siobhan Melbauer, who runs that program, the women's uh, piece of that program. Eric Hartman, who's here with us tonight as well. Uh, is our facilities uh, director, and he was there uh, and has been a part of this project. Clearly, we have to understand all of the mechanical components to this as well. And then, of course, we have Mark and Alan from Rosser, Brad Roland, and Jeff Minus from Maxwell. So that's the committee. Um, and what I uh, would like to do next, um, if you go ahead and put just one slide to it. Um, as a component of the project, one of the things that I determined uh, as we 
committee. The committee, of course, was, was tasked with doing an awful lot of stuff. Uh, some of the things that the committee has had to do is, first and foremost, we selected the architect and went through that process, but the committee also took it uh, upon themselves to go out and venture out and see other jails in the surrounding areas, to see what other jails were doing. How are they handling their overcrowding? What types of jails are out there? What our options were? Uh, and almost everybody, I believe everybody from the committee made it to those uh, jail visits. And uh, we also discussed and evaluated what our actual needs were. There was a lot of debate, a lot of discussion with a very diverse group. Uh, we also had to look at the administrative spaces that would be required by the sheriff. And what could we get in, what couldn't we get in, um, and then um, what kind of beds? Do we want dormitory beds? Do we want high, highly secure beds? Uh, security issues were evaluated, and then what type of a supervision model? Were they going to continue with, a, uh, with an indirect supervision or a direct supervision model? Um, and we, the decision was made to continue with the type of supervision we already have. And I would say it's really important to note that there has been an extremely, uh, probably one of the best work groups I've ever been a part of in terms of the way that people are collaborating together, um, concessions, everybody that was involved that had a need gave something up along the way. Everybody was very, uh, very forthcoming and saying, I can do without this, I can do without that. Uh, much of the last several months has been spent going through next level, uh, peeling back the onion, if you will, further and further down the line, all the way down to getting mechanical and electrical 